Okay, um, hi, my name is Tony, um, and I work for Stanford Blood Center. Okay, I'm going to talk to you today a little bit about um, how we process our blood. And so we start off when we receive the blood here. We receive it in these coolers, different kinds of coolers. They come from different areas. And here we have this tag that tells us what time they started drawing the blood, a little basic information so that we can prioritize them and triage them. Here we have blood that's just been donated from donors. They kind of wrap it up nicely for us. <clears throat> There's a certain way they need to wrap it. And basically, this just came from a donor. So what they do is they get inputted in the computer. Um, <clears throat> that's uh, medical records, they do that. And then we can now access that and we process it. So we'll take like this unit and we'll find out in the computer, in the system, it'll tell us everything we need to do with this unit. We use all these labels right here depending on what type of products we're going to make out of it. And uh, we prepare it. We balance the units. We usually balance two at a time. Make sure they're within uh, certain parameters of each other. And then we come over here to the centrifuge where we place... Now the centrifuge is kind of like a, washing, a, a dishwasher. <clears throat> and what it does is we put these units in these, in these guys. They swivel out. and. Um, and it spins at uh, 4,000 RPM for approximately seven minutes. And uh, it doesn't immediately stop after. It's kind of like, uh, it's, it's allowed to slow down on its own so it, not to disturb the units. And once it's done spinning, you're left with the whole blood initially that we got here to look something like this, where this is plasma. There's a very thin line of white blood cells. And then we have our red blood cells in the bottom. Now by spinning it, because the red blood cells are heavier, they're gonna sink to the bottom of the bag or towards the edge of the centrifugation. Okay, so after we're done spinning it, we have to do what's called expressing it or separate the plasma from the uh, red blood cells. So we have these robots right here that'll do that for us and we also have manual expressors. We put the guy on here, kind of like this right here, and uh, put the tubing through all these places. It separates the plasma from the red blood cells and then right here we input where we put in the anticoagulant stuff and nutrients into the bag. We bring that over here, seal it, record that in the system, and then we distribute the products wherever they need to go from there. And that's pretty much the process until we take it somewhere else.